hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'll be showing you how to install the latest version of oxygen os that is 4.5.7 for your oneplus 5 device and what are the features available in this latest firmware few bug fix have been done in this firmware so guys oxygen os version is 4.5.7 and android version 7.1.1 if you guys wants to install this you can directly go to system update and check for the update and if and if the device doesn't pop up with the update i have mentioned the download link in the description below so if you guys are rooted then you need to flash complete zip file ota will not work on this and if you guys are not rooted then you can just go to system update and check for an otf update i'll be also showing you the benchmark test what i have done with the previous firmware that was 4.5.6 and with the latest one that is 4.5.7 so first we'll take a look what are the additions done in this so according to their change logs they say oneplus slate font has been added in their oneplus 5 device also which was previously available on oneplus 3 and 3t so you can see here oneplus slate font is available i have already selected this so this is official from oneplus and next addition what they say is added electronic image stabilization for 4k videos so in 4k videos if you record 4k videos they have added electronic image stabilization so for that i'll make a separate video you guys stay tuned for that next they have few updates done that is the security patch has been updated to 1st july so that i'll also show you if you go to about and you can see here android security patch level is 1st july 2017 so next you have optimization under which they say Wi-Fi connectivity improves. I never faced Wi-Fi connectivity because I have a high range router so there was never an issue about that. Under which they also say standby battery enhancement so that we'll get to know once we start using the device whether the standby time of the battery has been increased or not. Bug fix is the last option what they have updated on their change logs. So under bug fix, uh, they say fix occasion sound leaks in the speaker when using earphone. Yes, this was a, a big issue which I was facing. If you guys play music on your device and if you remove your headphone uh, while playing music, the sound continuously plays after you remove the music on your loudspeaker. So this was the issue which I used to face on this device. So let's check if the same continues or not. So next they say fix camera shutter sound bug in silent mode. So yes, silent mode also uh, whenever your device is in silent mode and if you take any photo, there was a shutter sound of the device. So let's check now. I have made the device in silent mode. So you can see here and if I tap this. So now there is no sound. So they have fixed that. And last they say is fix sound channel and recording videos. Some issues of sound while video recording. So video recording I'll get to know completely tomorrow because I will be making a video on the camera tomorrow and in which I'll get to know whether these things what they have mentioned are fixed or not. So these are the things which they have mentioned on their official forum and we were talking about energy aware scheduling that, was, that is EAS. And that is still not available with this update. So we, I think we have to wait for next update or maybe Android O to get this feature. And if you guys are not aware what is EAS, I'll mention the link in the description below. You can check out from there. So I'll show you the benchmark test done here. So this was done on 4.5.6 in which single core I scored 1960 and multi core I scored 6623. But if you go to these results in which this was done on 4.5.7 so in this slight improvement in single core but in multi core there is a slight uh, decrease so these things won't matter much because that's not a much difference so if battery backup and all you guys also let me know and i'll also use it for a day and uh, be able to decide whether the battery improvement has been done and and regarding camera i have already told you that i'll be making a video nothing much in this this was a very small update somewhere around 300 mb so let's see how does it work and much in this video guys if you like the video do give me a thumbs up or if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel i'll keep updating you guys about the latest softwares coming for oneplus device so bye bye thank you